Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Mega server haul today. Boxes and boxes and stuff. I've got, here I have five, I believe, fully complete Dell 2950 servers. I've got, and, and I know they're a step below the 610s and 710s, but for web servers and for DIY tube, parallel processing, I think they're going to be absolutely fine. So I've got five complete servers, like they're loaded. It's from what I saw, just spot checking, the memory banks were all full, the hard drive bays, there were some hard drives in them, and all the power supplies are there. Now over here I've got four 2950s missing their hard drives and power supplies, and some of their RAM. So somebody had started to gut them out and sell off some of the parts. Um, but I'll get back to the power supplies because I got a, a few more of them. So uh, those are going to be spare parts. We'll see if I can get them going. I do have enough pieces all over the place and I might be able to piece them back together. That's the next point. I've got two unknown servers. I don't know what they are and I'll get to them in a minute because I'm going to open up and show you. I can't find out what they are yet. And then I've got a Sun T1000, the little guy up top. Um, he does have, I think, 8 gigs of RAM, two, 70, two 72 gig hard drives. It is fully complete and I believe it'll function, but it's a little guy. Um, I've got here a bunch of faceplates and trays. I've got a Cisco switch, so I don't know a thing about it yet. But there's a Cisco uh, series adaptive security appliance. I don't even know what that means. Adaptive security appliance. I uh, status active VPN. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna have to check this out. That might be something very very good for us. The guy told me it was a switch, but no. Security services card slot. Interesting. I'm gonna have to look up what that is. I do believe the power supply is floating around somewhere. There is that. I've got a Seagate uh, two-bay NAS drive. This is a uh, network storage with two two terabyte hard drives. So that's all there, and I'm guessing that'll run. This retailed at 829 back in the day, uh, 2013. I looked that up when I was waiting on my wife in the car early, later today. Um, and I believe they're selling for around $200 still. Now I could be wrong, but just from a brief, brief glance on the internet on my phone. So that's a really nice deal. And then I've got, uh, that belongs to a tower that I'll show you outside. I've got some rails, and I don't even know what all's in here. There's, I'm gonna have to go through all this. There's a nice power surge strip. That might be the power supply to my Cisco systems. Uh, yes, that's probably that goes to the Cisco. Um, I don't know what these metal things are, and then there's a bunch of these weird odd LED. Lights. I don't want to try to rip it out one-handed because I don't want to uh, tangle it up. But there's a whole mess of these LED light strips. I don't know what exactly. Um, X Ecozotic.com. I'm gonna have to just look that up. Ecozotic.com. There's a whole mess of these LED lights. Gotta be curious to see what that's all about. They're sealed, so. Uh, looks like there's some gunk on them. I'm not sure if they're any good or not. But there's a whole mess of them in uh, the two boxes that I have. And uh, all the the slides. I don't know what that big thing is in there. But I'll have to go through all that later. Then I've got here, that's why I'm not worried about the servers. I've got power supplies galore. So I do believe that, uh, let me see, make sure I get it in the right way. I do believe these will pop into here. I'm trying to do this one-handed and get them out of my way. Yeah, those will pop into them. 
so I at least will have some power supplies to operate these. So there's five spare power supplies and four servers that didn't have power supplies. So there's a good start. So I don't know what they were doing, what was the plan, but at least I can piece some of these together and probably get these running. If the power supplies are any good, we'll get them out of my way that way. Easier stored there. And then I can see what else is in here. There's a, another power, uh, it's a uh, APC power strip. Always useful. If I can get the cord out. Everything's cold. I just got it inside from the truck. It was an all day trip. Oh boy. Alright, let me put the camera down. I have to get this out of the way to see what else is down in here. Okay, there's a monitor. A AOC. Decent sized monitor. I don't know if that'll work or not. Hopefully, the cables are in there. Power cables on it. Hopefully it'll come off. And I was told the base is somewhere. It's a strange little base. I don't know what. The, oops, I'm not showing you. So I'm hoping the base is in there, like he said. He said it's in there somewhere. Okay, and we've got cables, cables, cables. There's. I'm gonna have to really sort through. There's all the cables in the world here. All kinds of cables. And. Power supplies, various power supplies. Let me see if I can get that out. Ugh. Cables. And what do we got here? Here is a uh, surfboard modem, Motorola surfboard. Here is a um, RTAC66U. Dual band 3x3 gigabit router from Asus. It's got to be worth something. Might help me out with my Wi Fi here in the house. Our Wi Fi is horrendous. Then we got some more server trays, various server trays. There's a book to something that probably isn't here. I don't know what that is. Smart level control, automatic control level. More uh, trays. All of these are probably all go up in here to live. It's all good to have. Nice long power cables. Little on the patch cables. Simply PCI box. Oops, there is something in there. In the accessories, there is it in there. Oh, there's something in there. What is that? PCI Express controller card. And then these LED lights. I'm going to um, put down the camera and try to extract one of these and see what uh, we have here. So there's four of these in this big box. And they're all strung together. Seems like a waterproof or water resistant plug. Because there's quite a uh, uh, suction when I pull them apart. So that'll be curious to see what that is about. Alright, let's have a look at these servers and see what we got here. I have two mystery servers. And uh, later I'll go through all the 2950s on a separate video as I go through them. But I want to know what the mystery servers are. Now this is the Sun Fire T1000 General. Okay. So I'm going to open it up and we'll see what this one looks like inside. And then we'll look at the two mystery servers. And that'll be pretty much it for this uh, day. Now it's getting late. And i got to take care of the, the homestead as well. This appears to be complete. Um, unfortunately, there's only eight one gig RAM sticks in here. Uh, single CPU, looks like that's all there is available on this, and two little tiny 72 gig hard drives, so enough to boot with and have a mirror image. And that's it. So not too much exciting on this little server. Uh, I'm probably going to take it in though and see if it runs. And uh, look it over because it looks like it's really efficient depending on uh, the processor Let's see if I might be able to use that for something inside by the way there's this massive APC 
at least four, maybe five foot long, 220 volt uh, power strip with digital display. That is awesome. All right, I'm gonna open up this mystery server and we'll have a look and see. Actually, I don't think there's any, yeah, there's no latch. On these mystery servers, so we've only got four RAM sticks. I think they were two gig a piece. Let me see what we have. Yeah, two gig. So there's only eight gig in here in this computer. Um, two processors. That's good. No hard drives, but there is a single power supply. I looks like 600 watts. I'm looking at it upside down, but it looks like from the model number, 600 watt power supply. Yep, there it is. So, I don't know what this is. I, um, I'm going to have to look up the model number. I know somebody, some of you out there are going to recognize it right away and know what this is. There's a uh, quick, quick reference guide. Doesn't say a thing about the manufacturer on this. It has Hewlett Packard RAM, if that makes any difference, but... No, no... There's a date... Oh, wow. 9 March 2006. Oh, wow. Oh, that's ancient. 14 years old. That's insane. Well, anyway, I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to look and see if I can find out. There's... Let me spin this around. Yeah, I don't know. There doesn't say. I don't see a manufacturer or anything on there. Show you the. I don't see. It's odd that the manufacturer name is not on there. Product code SR one five six zero SFHS. If I'm reading it right. I'm gonna have to get a photo of that and take it in and look at it. I have no idea. Um, who makes the motherboard? Might have to get a flashlight. See if I can figure out who makes the motherboard, then I'll know who made the server. I don't know. Let me check. Let me see if I can find some light in here. All right, in here in the fine print, it says Intel. And it's an Intel motherboard with um, AM, ATI, ATI uh, chips. I'm going to have to plug that in and see what it'll do. That's curious. Anybody know what that is? Let me know. Alright, I'll show you one last thing and that'll be it for the day. I'm out on the porch. I've got this big, big uh, rack, server rack, with a TP-Link. I believe it's a switch. Um, yes, 24-port gigabit switch built in. And I believe that's what all the uh, cases and cover parts are for uh, that I have over there, the extra. So there's a, a server rack. And let me see what's... There was something on the back. Oh, it's got its own graphic card. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's it then. So, nice rack. Um, it says here, Cybertron. Wait a minute. Is that that? Switch? Let me see. No! What is that? I knew there was something different. It says Cybertron. I have no idea even what that is. I'm going to have to look that up later with some flashlights. Um, Cybertron something. It's got a graphic card. It's got uh, mouse ports. It's got network cable ports. It's got... Uh, I can't tell. It's getting dark out. I don't know if there's a hard drive in there. That's cool. So uh, Something I didn't even know. Cool. Well, guys, that's it. So that's the mother load of servers today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and follow my exciting videos about computers, electronics, alternate energy, off-grid, and other cool stuff. This is going to be fun. Stay tuned for other videos as I go through all this. Talk to you all later.